So, in terms of field of view, with the lenses as far back as they will go towards my eyes, both left and right side mirrors are visible, uh, but nothing beyond them. I can see just the edges of the mirrors while looking straight ahead, nothing else. Um, if I move the lenses away from my eyes, then I can see about half of each of the side mirrors. So definitely you want to have them as close as you can to your eyes. Uh, it, it will even go a bit further, but I think at that point my eyelashes start touching the lenses and it gets a little, a little awkward. Um, so this is this is recording using the Steam VR view, which I believe is capturing what's in the right eye. I'll take another video using uh, just the eye racing app. Uh, I'm not sure how they do it, but it looks a little bit different. Neither of them really capture the field of view that well. Um, but like I said, with with the lenses as close to my eyes as are comfortable for me, I can see both side mirrors and nothing beyond them. So this, what we're seeing here is the same view that we saw in the previous recording, just this one is recording the output that's being sent to the iRacing window, versus if you view the Steam VR view, that's what we recorded last time. I think the difference being Steam VR was recording the right eye, eye racing by default is just showing the left eye. So if you combine the two, you can kind of get an idea of what you're going to see if you put the headset on. Now your mileage is going to vary. Uh, if you have the eye relief very far forward, you're not going to be seeing as much left or right or top or bottom. Um, if you're able to put it back, which I am, what I'm seeing is very similar, um, especially if I close my right eye, just look at, compare what's in the left eye to what's being shown on screen, it's very much the same. Uh, so as long as you can have the eye relief fairly far back, what you're seeing is, is a fairly good representation. It's not perfect, obviously you can't really tell until you put the headset on, but hopefully this gives you somewhat of an idea of what the field of view looks like in the IndyCar and iRacing. Thanks for watching.